Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for the middle of May. So this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up for the middle of May. You know, I focus on love, so, you know, other things come up sometimes. It is what it is. I just tell you what I see. This may or may not be for you. Mid-May could resonate now. You know, the timing is fluid. Some people don't realize it, you know, that the timing is fluid. They watch it and they think if it doesn't resonate at the, that exact time, <laughs> they don't get it. But some people do, some people don't. It is what it is. What do we got for Virgo? I guess we're going to take those, huh? Ooh, Eight of Cups with the Wish Fulfillment Star card. There's hope. There's hope. It's a time of inspiration. Wish fulfillment. Eight of Cups. There's an emotional loss here. But there's still an opportunity for love. You see? There's still one cup that is upright. So there's, so there's still an opportunity for love. And it looks like somebody is, is looking at it. It's like, oh, there's there still love here? Is there still love? You know, there's still an opportunity for love, even though somebody may have... Somebody may have been clinging to the past. They may have been clinging to the memories of the past, you know. And they may have lost an opportunity, but they may be realizing that there's still an opportunity. It looks like somebody is thinking about seizing that opportunity. So there is still some sort of hope here. There's hope for something. Hope for love. Three of Cups reversed. There's been a lack of happiness. No joy. Um, high Priestess. There's some secret here. There's something that is hidden. Somebody is keeping a secret. They're keeping to themselves. Hmm. King of Swords. Something is, is going to be arriving. Get prepared. Get prepared because something is, go is going to be arriving. Something is on its way. Could be happiness. You know, it could be with the Four of Wands. There could be some happy reunion here. Okay. There could have been a delay in a reunion or a delay in happiness, but something is going to happen. There's a change coming. Somebody's making a decision. There has been a delay. There absolutely has. So there's been some so, some relationship problems, right? <laughs> Obviously. There's been some relationship problems here. Um, but there's still hope. There's still hope of reconciling, perhaps, or coming together. There's still some sort of hope here. Um, I think that... There's been maybe some family feuds or there's been some arguments or there's been some disconnections that has caused a uh, delay or it's caused somebody to, you know, retreat. You know, it's caused somebody to retreat or something, keep to themselves, to just shut down, okay? And I think that... <laughs> Something that is happening. There's like a renewal. There's some sort of renewal that is coming. Somebody is starting to see something from a new perspective. They're starting to see that there is, or they are, they, maybe they they really see now. They really see that there's, I mean, this guy is really seeing. It's like, there's, there's still, do I, do I want this love or not? If this is love, but they maybe see, they know, they know something. Somebody is, knows their gut is telling them something. We're going to get some more cards. Oh, there's...
there's an opportunity for a lot of happiness here. There is for a renewal to heal a partnership. This is healing a partnership. A commitment. Could be a marriage. Whatever it is. You could be getting into a commitment if you are single. If you are single, I'm just saying. I mean, this could be you meeting somebody. You could be meeting somebody at a gathering or some sort of celebration. You go to some sort of celebration. Could be at a church. Could be at a church or something. You meet somebody and, you know, you you find you feel a connection with this person. Just saying, if you're single, that could be the case. This is a card of wish fulfillment. This is a wish being fulfilled. So something is, is, is I mean, with that card right there, I think that something is about to get better. Um, the truth is going to come out. Okay, the truth is going to come out. If somebody has not been telling the truth, they've been trying to escape their true feelings or they've been trying to hide their true feelings or keep them a secret, I don't think that's going to last. I think the truth is going to come out. I feel as though somebody may have been not, they may have been lying about how they truly feel about a connection if you are in a relationship. But the, it, there's some sort of, Well, it's freedom. It's liberation. It's like a, a freedom of... I mean, these are thoughts of, of mental turmoil. It's, it's, it's standing up. It's, it's telling the truth. It, somebody has been letting their own pain hinder them from finding happiness. You know what I mean? It's like somebody has been wallowing in their own pain and it has caused a relationship to fall apart. I mean, seriously. The Ten of Swords reversed. The Ten of Pentacles reversed. And the Ten of Cups reversed. I mean, these are all cards of completion. Okay? They're all cards of endings. Okay? All three of them are reversed. So this, there's a new beginning coming. Okay? Because once you get these, there's no, there's no place to go but up from here. You've already, you've already hit. The worst has already come, okay? I mean, with these three tens reversed, it's like it's been a very troublesome time. I, I mean, I got, I got to be honest with you. There's been relationship problems. There's been family feuds. There's been discon disconnections. There's been um, uncomfortableness at home. There's been um, breakups, perhaps, you know, with this ten of pentacles and the ten of... Ten of Cups, There's, there, or if there isn't a breakup, there could be a breakup. Somebody could be moving out of the home. There could be a change in the home. Somebody may, may be deciding to break free from a commitment because they found somebody else. I mean, i got to be honest with you. Whew. Some sort of truth is about to be revealed. There's no joke. There's a secret, and I think the secret is about to be revealed, okay? But it is going to lead you to a happier place because wherever somebody has been, it hasn't been happy. It hasn't been joyful. That, I mean, that's the truth. But, and I think you do need to get prepared for some sort of secret to be revealed because something is about to change. Um, somebody is making a decision right now as to who or they love. You could be dealing with another earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, you have Taurus here a couple times. Um, it doesn't really matter. But you, you, do, you have Taurus, Virgo, Cap you, you probably A lot of you are dealing with another earth sign, but you could be dealing with a air sign as well. Either way, we have somebody here that... may be jealous, they may be possessive, they may not, they may have insecurities, they may be focused on everything but love, they may not be be giving you the passion that you desire, they, they you know, they're not focused on, love, 
right? They're not focused on love and passion. They're focused on everything but love and passion. So I think that you are, somebody is definitely making a decision in regards to love, okay? Um, and they may be putting a halt to something seriously with the, with the chariot and the, the knight of pentacles reverse, something may be coming to a complete halt, coming to a complete stop. You know, this is not going to go forward. Somebody may be deciding the decision may be, may be that there's, there's, there's no victory here. There's, there's no progress. There's no, there's no, forward movement you know there's nothing changing so you know this is emotionally disappointing to me and I'm looking for something more emotionally fulfilling so I think that somebody is making a decision to go after their dreams I mean the star card is dreams um Somebody has been hiding their true feelings about a commitment. And I think that they probably see a potential new partnership that could make them happy. Now, this could go vice versa. So if the person, the, you or the person you're dealing with, there's an opportunity for happiness here. There's an opportunity to come together with somebody that really makes you feel good. But there's something that needs to be completed first okay the tens are completion there's something that needs to end first there's 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 a relationship by the looks of things with the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups that is in turmoil it's in it's in a painful state right now it's it's not getting better i mean it's not getting better for some reason it's just, it's it's very it's a struggle put it that way and somebody is, is, they may be staying just because of the, the commitment that they made. But I think they may be getting prepared to fly. They may be getting prepared, keeping it a secret, biding their time. So somebody may be biding their time and, you know, getting ready to take off. So um, I feel as though somebody is probably needing to take action and do what's right for them. I mean, the nine of pentacles, we're, we're, so we're dealing with so, somebody that needs to have discipline. Somebody that needs to know that they can take care of themselves. We have somebody here that is afraid of, or doesn't want to be alone and is staying in a relationship that doesn't make them happy. And they probably see another opportunity for love that they want to take and they can't take it because of a commitment it could be a marriage whatever um and this is the i don't i don't want to be alone that's what this is this card is nine of the nine of pentacles is somebody that is insecure they need to find the discipline they must take action and they need to know that you complete you another person doesn't complete you you complete you another person doesn't complete you don't stay in a relationship just to have somebody, you know? So anyway, I feel like we have somebody here that is making a decision to put something to a complete halt because it's not love. i got to be honest with you. It, there's no love here. And there's love someplace else. And that's what I feel like. I feel like there's there's wish fulfillment someplace else. There's an opportunity for happiness someplace else. And I think somebody knows that. And they've been keeping it a secret. So Virgo, for the middle of May, what is going to happen next? Like there's something, uh, so there's going to be some sort of communication with that King of Swords. I mean, that's a, that, that sword is big. That's communication. That's the truth. And I, the truth is going to the Seven of Swords reverse. Some sort of truth is going to be revealed. Perhaps that somebody has reached a dead end. This is a dead end. I'm exhausted. I can't do this anymore. I want to take a break. I need to take a break.
somebody may be tempted to look outside the relationship, to look outside the commitment because there's no passion where they're at, you know? I've just got to be honest with you. That's what I just heard. Um, I feel like there's somebody is in an unhealthy commitment and their fears of being alone or not wanting to be alone or codependency issues are holding them back from happiness. But what is going to happen? What is going to happen? There could be a breakup coming. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, I can't pretend. There could be a split. There could be. It's like there, there's, there's, there could be some conflicts. There's like incompatibility here. And somebody is, is hanging on to it for one because it's a codependency. It's nothing solid. It's nothing stable. And somebody may be deciding to let it go. But we have somebody here that has been sacrificing themselves needlessly, hanging on to a situation that is very unhealthy. Maybe because they're worried about, you know, the, the, what everybody else is going to say. And there is an opportunity for wish fulfillment someplace else. And that is the truth. And I think that somebody knows it. They know that it's time to let go of something that isn't solid. It's not stable. It's not, it's not healthy. It's not compatible. But they're resisting the change because of codependency. Because that's what, that's what it is. That is what it is. So I think in mid-May, somebody is going to make, that is make a decision. I mean, this guy makes a decision and he sticks to it. What is this King of Swords going to do? Now this could be anybody. Could be you. Could It could be. This person is making a decision. This decision is being made. He's the judge. He's the lawyer. He, or he's the investigator. He's authority. He makes a decision. Oh, he's deciding to go after passion. He's deciding to go after what he's passionate about. He may be going after a new partner. Somebody is deciding to go after uh, his new vision. This is a new vision. I'm going after passion. I got this new, new approach, this new vision. I got to let go. I got. It's time for me to open up. I'm letting go of holding on to this security. So I think that we have somebody here that is deciding to go after what his dreams his or her, I'm saying his because it's a him. We have somebody here that is deciding to go after their dreams, follow, go after their wish fulfillment, which includes passion. I need to go after what I'm passionate about. I'm going to go out, this could be a new partnership. I'm going after what I see, what I'm attracted to. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um... Deciding to go for it. This guy is deciding to go for it. He's going to go follow his dreams and he's about ready to open up and let go of whatever he's been hanging on to. So get prepared. Somebody's going to make a decision, whether it's you or the other person, and they're going to spill the beans. They're going to tell the truth. The truth is going to come out. They've been keeping it a secret, but passion matters, okay? What I'm passionate about matters. Growth matters. It's time to live again. It's time to be happy. This is, this is uh, I mean, that's like the phoenix rising, right? This is resurrection. It's time to release. It's time to live again. It's time for the truth. The truth is absolutely going to come out. If something has been, somebody, somebody's been hiding their true feelings or they've been hiding the truth, it's absolutely going to be revealed. Somebody is going to get some sort of epiphany or an awakening that it's time to go. This is go for. It's time to go for love and passion. 
And it's time to open up the Four of Pentacles reverse. It's time for me to let go of my fear. Release the past. It's time for me to live again. So be prepared for somebody to make a decision, a firm decision, to let go of something that isn't solid, stable, and secure, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with. There is going to be communication coming through, and I think it's going to make you happy and whatever. It's going to make, because this is wish fulfillment. This is a dream come true, both these cards. This is you getting what you want, so you're going to get what you want, whatever it is. This is you getting what you want. So Virgo, get prepared. Seriously, get prepared. Some I think that somebody has been stuck. They've been keeping to themselves. They haven't been unhappy about it. They may have been holding on to a past contract, a false contract that was incompatible. Could be because of the family. Could be because of children. I don't know. They weren't being practical. They were being hot-headed. But it's like they get this new realization that it's time to go. That is it. I've got to go after my I'm passionate about. It's time for me to open up. I see another opportunity. So that's what I see. I mean, that's what I see. Get prepared. Get prepared for some sort of truth to come out that I think it's going to make you pretty happy. It's going to bring you something that you've been wishing for. However that resonates with you, good luck.